Back home, Law and Foreign Affairs Minister Keishan Mugam says the government will strive to meet the aspirations of all sectors of society, including those in a middle-income group. He said it will do this by balancing trade-offs and benefits for all. Mr. Shanmugam was speaking to reporters on the sidelines of a community event in his constituency, Chongpang. The middle-income group in Singapore is often referred to as the sandwiched class. They may miss out on benefits targeted at the low-income group, but are still struggling with the cost of living. The median monthly income of Singaporeans is about $3,400. The government has acknowledged that this group needs more help, and in recent years, it's made a slight shift towards extending more help to them. The question is, how far should it go? Any honest government should address the aspirations and needs of all sectors of society. Our own approach has been that we look at uh, the interests of all interest groups and then do the trade-offs and do something and put in policies that work for the uh, entire country and all the people, which must mean that there have to be trade-offs, but there must also be benefits for all. Mr. Shanmugam said there will always be constraints in policy making. He added the government has to explain clearly what they are, even as it tries to meet the aspirations of all. On the subject of animal welfare, the minister said he welcomes the recommendations made by interest groups to set up tougher laws and more regulation for the pet industry. I think we need to strengthen uh, the uh, legislation. I, that's my personal view, that we need to strengthen the legislation and uh, deal more effectively with animal abuse and put in place norms, frameworks for better uh, more responsible ownership of uh, pets and uh, the pet industry. The committee reviewing animal welfare laws in Singapore released its recommendations on Friday. Among them, calling on the government to double maximum penalties for animal abuse and having compulsory training for staff working in pet businesses. The government's feedback unit, REACH, says the wage credit scheme together with productivity issues have been the most hotly discussed Budget 2013 topics. Today, REACH Chairman Dr Amy Kaur and two members of its supervisory panel engaged the public in a Facebook chat on the budget. On the wage credit scheme, the participants described it as generous, but there are concerns that employers may try to exploit loopholes. On the tightening of foreign worker policies, participants expressed worry that higher business costs could be passed on to consumers. There are now uh, some concern, like I say, about the fact that for certain sectors where uh, uh, Singaporeans, uh, you know, are, are reluctant uh, to join, uh, there may be problems uh, with uh, with the tight labour market, and that. They, there may not be enough workers there. So some are actually, in fact, worried about the long-term vibrancy of the Singapore economy. 